name's Eddie Robinson. Um, I've been with uh, Arima for a couple of years now. I'm originally a spectroscopist. And uh, what Steve was saying about collegiality and uh, working together is really the most important reason we're here. Uh, we need to help you get the best out of instrumentation, and we need from you uh, the feedback on uh, what, uh, how it might be applied uh, in areas that we haven't even conceived of yet. So that process is uh, really probably the most important thing. Um, Hariba is a fairly big company. Um, let's see if I can actually make this work. There we go. Um, and uh, I'm going to blaze through this pretty quickly because there's far too much of it. Um, we're actually a uh, fairly large uh, 201 plus uh, billion Japanese yen in sales, which is $1.9 billion, something like that. Uh, and of this, uh, Hariba Scientific uh, is uh, just one part. Um, Dr. Hariba, uh, who you can't tell from this picture, but he rocked a really good ponytail behind <laughs> <laughs> um, was the founder of the company. He started out with a uh, pH meter uh, and um, built that. Uh, into a large company which is now headed by uh, his son uh, who uh, was educated at UC Irvine. Um, we'll come back to that at the, uh, at the end of this. Uh, almost uh, 8,000 employees. Most of the employees are not Japanese. It's a very uh, uh, broadly based company which has grown by uh, acquisitions uh, over the years. Um, the largest division actually is an automotive test systems division. Uh, emissions measurement systems are a large part of that, and uh, probably Volkswagen wish that it weren't, <laughs> so we turned them in. Um, the uh, uh, scientific division, as you can see, is uh, just over 13% of the business, and although it's a relatively small division, really everything else is built on what comes out of the uh, scientific division. We take uh, research uh, in, in uh, spectroscopy and uh, instrumentation, and we apply that in the real world uh, to do um, important things. Uh, there's a medical division. We are the largest supplier of mass flow controllers, which make the semiconductor uh, equipment work. They uh, control the gases that go into the systems. There's a large uh, uh, applications in um, uh, particle sizing and uh, uh, various uh, sorts of environmental testing. Uh, we're spread around the world, as you'd expect. Um, so the key things that we do, gas flow control, infrared measurement, spectroscopic analysis, particle characterization are applicable in many different areas and we continue to try to add uh, applications. Uh, that's uh, where the, uh, our interest in, in working together with people like you is. Um, the scientific division is based in Paris and it's based in Paris because 35, 40 years ago, something like that, uh, Hariba purchased uh, Jovan Bon, which is a large spectros spectroscopy company in France, and this year Jovan Bon celebrates 200 years of being in existence. Uh, something that we're uh, really pretty happy about. The first uh, product was a Fresnel lens, well, the first Fresnel lens for uh, uh, use in a lighthouse and uh, various other uh, scientific developments. Uh, there was a um, uh, device for uh, measuring uh, um, sugar in, uh, in wine and so forth. pH beta came in in Japan. Uh, all the gratings that we use in our spectrometers are manufactured in France by, by us. Uh, and we have many of these flying. Pretty much every satellite that has a spectrometer on it has our gratings in it. Uh, the Raman microscope came along uh, in the 70s, 
Uh, this uh, uh, Jovan had the uh, the first uh, Raman microscope, and uh, that has continued to be developed up until today with the instruments that you'll see here. Uh, Ellipsometry, glow discharge. Uh, the company that. Uh, One minute, okay, very quick. Okay, so we grew, grew by uh, acquisitions. Um, let's see, uh, let's go straight through this. Uh, we have very deep roots, uh, which uh, allow us to uh, address many different uh, areas of technology. Perhaps the most important part are these people. These people are there as a resource for you. Uh, they have uh, very deep uh, roots uh, in, in uh, Raman spectroscopy. Uh, Fran and Dara, uh, 45 years of experience uh, through to some of the, the more recent people, uh, Dr. Maroon and Shannon Sundram, uh, and uh, so forth. Um, Una, who's uh, going to be talking uh, a little bit later on, uh, Andre Krajew, who was my CTO of the company that I came from. Uh, there's a broad spectrum of uh, instruments uh, in uh, Raman spectroscopy. And uh, last but not least, um, we uh, also sponsor uh, Raman Fest, which is an international conference on Raman spectroscopy that will be held uh, next year uh, in Irvine. And you're all invited to attend. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> That that should be the oh, and the, the thank you slide.